quite some time since I met you. Yeah, yes, uh, Kamal Kant. It's a, yes. But I can't recognize you now because uh, you are completely changed. You have become older than me, I think. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Actually, I've grown a white beard and uh, the hair is gone. Yeah. Uh, and a lot, a lot of changes, a lot of age changes. <laughs> and except the teeth, and you know, the teeth are all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to be with you, sir, you know, on this platform. And uh, thanks to Global TV and uh, Dr. Paul. How, how is the professional life right now, sir? Professional life has become dull because uh, I'm no more in the institution now. And uh, my yes. every day's business with the students and other faculties has come to stand still. I live with them for so many years. True, true, true. Because I have been associated with you right from the Government Dental College in Bangalore, probably in 1972-1973 region, where you became my prosthodontic teacher. And uh, continuously, you are my guide you know, for the preclinical prosthodontics as well as uh, clinical prosthodontics. You guided me throughout. And uh, so later, uh, I did not imagine that I'll become your student again in Bangalore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in another college, in a, uh, A.B. Shetty Memorial uh, Dental College, uh, that was uh, pro probably I joined in 87. And you started the college in 85, if I'm correct. Yes, after you returned uh, from abroad. Until then, we've been uh, inquiring about you, you know, where you are and, uh, and uh, your pro uh, uh, academic uh, you know, uh, endeavors and all that. And after you came to Mangalore, uh, we were happy that you're in Mangalore and uh, even I was in Mangalore and some of my friends came back to Mangalore to settle on because of uh, hometown. And 87 and joined you again and you immediately put me in prosthodontics. Uh, that, that was uh, one of the happiest moments for me. And prosthodontics was, has always been my favorite subject. you know. And most of the times because of your motivation and your uh, fantastic teaching. you know. So that motivated us, you know, uh, some, of, some of the students, you know, to take up the prosthodontics as a career, uh, as a specialty. Uh, and really, really thankful to be, you know, um, under you all the time. So we always been telling everybody that you are the teacher of the teachers, something like King of Kings. Uh, probably uh, your kind of name, uh, I don't know anybody. Uh, nobody must have earned in the field of prosthodontics in India. I mean, the kind of work, what you've done, the progress, what you brought in, the innovations, uh, what you uh, introduced, and the. Uh, State of the art technology. You're always behind state of the art technology. You did not stick to the same old concepts always. You were always open to the new and changing concepts. You always welcomed them without any bias. That was something which everybody is appreciating right now, all over India and you know, most of the parts of the world. I still remember as a lecturer uh, in the department plus around in Navy City you know, when, when I joined in 1987. How you introduced so many. Uh, uh, you know, uh, so many methods, you know, for the evaluations, you know. The other day I was talking to you about self-assessment of the students and the students assessing them, themselves and giving the reports. So that one particular thing impressed us so much. So in the other college where I worked, you know, I, I had to introduce that particular thing. It was all learned from you, actually. Uh, and, uh, you know, so be it anything, you introduced it first in ABCT. You were the pioneer. I think in the private uh, uh, college setups, the first time introducing the high technology lab, prosthodontic lab, I think you did it, if I remember. And uh, you, all, you also, you were kind enough to send me for some training in that to uh, Chennai uh, at that time. And after return, you know, so we gave the report and you established it in a full-fledged uh, technology, high technology lab, casting lab, ceramic lab, everything on time. So we all appreciate you, you know, for this. And you've been the guideline for you know, most of the students in India, be it uh, prosthodontics, or pros prosthodontics or any other uh, specialty of dentistry. How, how it was different than Bangalore Dental College to this college? Uh, yes, there I was a student and I was an undergraduate student. You know, I mean, we were like a virgin soil. I mean, whatever uh, the teachers were putting in our mind, it was going into the mind. In Government Dental College Bangalore, we were very happy as students. Uh, uh, mainly because the clinical material was enormous, uh, so many patients coming in. So we were exposed to clinical dentistry very well. And uh, the teachers there were excellent. All the teachers were dedicated. And uh, not like uh, what's happening now. And everybody was on time. And everybody was available for guidance all the time. 
and they were staying for the extra hours if needed and uh, they were guiding the students and that was a dedicated time actually uh, i mean for, uh, as far as the teaching is concerned so and uh, the interactions what we had with you academically as well as extracurricular there is something fantastic and uh, you were involved in so many things cultural activities you encouraged us to participate in cultural activities you said you know it's not only the academics you should have all round development uh, for the personality development as well as professionally and uh, uh, the sporting activity particularly it was became very prominent in, uh, during your period after you returned from mumbai after your projects uh, the kind of uh, sporting activities what you introduced it was just fantastic and students started winning uh, the university uh, uh, prizes in uh, sporting activities you you were a, a fantastic sportsman yourself we know know about it and you were participating in so many sports sports you know when you are young you know so we know about it we have seen the pictures also during the teaching hours and, uh, in government and college uh, you were very strict you were very firm strict in the sense you were very firm and uh, if something is not done uh, you are really you know uh, getting after us you know till it is it was done and uh, i don't say we were scared of you never and we were never scared of you but the thing is we were on the edge so always you know we were waiting you know what you're going to say and we are doing it and uh, 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 no student and so far i don't think you know anybody has got anything against you because you fired them uh, during the classes or you know later or whatever and everybody has the same affection even right now and the same respect so i don't think any teacher could have commanded that much of a respect actually yeah. and also the same thing yes and same thing happened uh, when we reta- when we ca- I came back to mangalore and joined you in prosthodontics and uh, abct so that too actually i mean i saw that and everything was the same i'm mean, nothing had changed about your personality it was the same charming personality and in the, the way you dealt with the students like a family member is something like a brother to younger brother or a father to the son that kind of a relation there uh, i mean what what we are saying not just you know uh, that you are superior and that's the reason you got the right to uh, be strict with the students and all that no it was not that kind of a thing it was something like a family members the entire thing was like a family the college and entire, entire thing everything was like family and during the leisure hours you were mixing with the students you were laughing in them you were joking with them we have seen cricket also together if you can remember <laughs> in abc i mean uh, during the leisure hours everything you know you used to mix so so well so that is the reason we developed such a kind of a great familiarity with you and uh, is uh, everything is un- unforgettable uh, this is something uh, most of the teachers of today can emulate they can really emulate what your qualities and and, and uh, personally i feel this is how a teacher should be uh, all round you are yes. a teacher for me now me i'm all right <laughs> no I, that way if you look at it even uh, actually i tell my wife you know that uh, she is my teacher <laughs> in some ways you know i mean everybody has got to learn something from others that is a different kind of uh, teaching or learning process and a learning process i think is different uh, i mean uh, in general uh, because in you know, a life is i always said that when we put people into equality then only we will understand better That's absolutely the- absolutely yes i am student to my student <laughs> yes yes <laughs> now nah, this is a particular quality in which we appreciate in you sir you know because you are not uh, looked at the things uh, in a very conventional way no you are not looked into the things like uh, uh, in that way so what you have done is you are every time you are logical whatever you did and whatever you spoke you know whatever you implement they, they were all logical with the proper logic in you know, a proper understanding of uh, the outcomes uh, and all that and uh, the prognosis was really great <laughs> Yes, and uh, so coming to uh, Mangalore, Mangalore days, you know, the, uh, how the college was started in a simple way, and uh, so later how it was developed, your vision, uh, your planning, and uh, I remember I've been sitting with you when you were showing the plans to the teachers and uh, and uh, your dreams. You know, uh, I mean, uh, without dreaming, nothing is possible. Your great dreams, actually, about you know, how the college should. And now ABC stands among uh, tall. is standing really tall among all the dental colleges in india is known everywhere 
So ABCT graduate means uh, he's got a respect all over the country. And uh, even, even the patients know about uh, ABCT dental code. Oh, ABCT graduate, yes, we can conveniently go to the doctor. Yeah, something like this. So, true. Develop it to a that extent, your contribution is the greatest. Most of the teachers have cooperated and they've understood uh, what you wanted and they've done that. But the thing is, your vision was the greatest in that. So we were very fortunate to be working within the, uh, in the great institution. And how it has grown, you know, how it has come by now. It's just something fantastic, actually. It's in, it's, it's in the international standards, actually. And how you invite, uh, so again, I remember you know, how you used to invite uh, the foreign speakers and the, the recognized uh, foreign, uh, um, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the dignitaries or uh, the good workers in the field of dentistry, including the dental technicians, and you know, how you used to invite them to India and to the college and used to train us. Uh, that was something great. Actually, we could learn a lot. Actually, we were exposed to so many things. And there's something uh, we can be really proud of. And also, uh, this is uh, this has to be mentioned about uh, uh, the denture camps, which uh, proudly I was a part of it uh, right from the first denture camp, which you conducted in opening day. I remember around probably around 27. 54, sorry, sorry, 54 complete dentures were uh, right from the morning till evening. I think by six o'clock. They were all inserted and uh, patients were happy. So this was something fantastic. You know, when you had planned it and you called a meeting and uh, told us about it and appointed some of us uh, know, to organize certain things for that, we made a list right from the scratch. You know, so we were working on that for days together under your instructions and, uh, and uh, how it was planned, how it was executed. It was something, something great. Because we, many of us actually did not believe that it can happen, to be honest, sir. Actually, I, I did not believe that it can really happen. We yeah. have little resources of manpower. So I have to manpower. get people from Bangalore, some of the technicians and other people. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I remember, uh, yes, I remember Dr. Uh, I mean, uh, Jagdish Alikari, the technician, yeah. master technician came from Bangalore. And Ramanan Shetty came, Dr. Ramanan Shetty. Uh, I mean, who is now retired as a uh, vice chancellor of uh, Raju Gandhi and uh, Nitti University. Um, so he he also helped us and uh, with the suggestions and uh, you were there all over and you were uh, handling the things you are not just overseeing you are handling the things yes. uh, I, I remember and by six o'clock everything was finished and by eight o'clock we were at home in Bangalore I mean the entire I think the entire exercise started at eight o'clock in the morning if I remember after the setup first pride of ours. In the our rural program of our Abhishekti Dental College. Ab ab absolutely. So that was unprecedented. And that was unprecedented, actually. I mean, that kind of a program. I'd, uh, even uh, I had asked uh, Jagdish, you know, during the program, I mean, when it was happening in the afternoon and during the lunch hour, I asked him, you know, have you seen this kind of a program anywhere? He said, I've never heard of this kind of a program and never seen also. That I am so proud to, to have come to uh, Upinangari to participate in the program and uh, he was so proud even now when i meet him he say he recalls uh, you know, that uh, this is the first you know this was the first and last what he saw and later many camps every year it, uh, the camps followed and uh, when the student numbers were increased two camps used to be held 50 percent of the students used to be sent to one camp and 50 percent to the another camp very happy to be part of uh, most uh, most of the camps on the organi uh, organizational side. And uh, later we started, as, uh, suppose it's far off, you know, we used to go the previous evening, set up everything and keep ready. And next morning, start the work by night, complete. And it went up to, I think, uh, probably, I mean, it reached uh, 100 dentures, even the partial dentures were handled. And later, uh, uh, some of the camps I was not part of, I heard it even touched 200. According to our, this one, 175 we did, is the highest. One, that, that is the highest, yes. Recently, recently Chetan has organized in Paimuttu. I think we Paimuttu. have 200 and odd uh, dentures uh, in a day, single day. Great. Some of our uh, old graduates and uh, other people also have participated along with that. Uh, another uh, big band of postgraduate students. We have uh, 27 postgraduate students. Yes. Understood and interns like that. We have a big manpower now. So big manpower, yes, yes. Only thing is people who are organizing should support us for uh, the rest of the things which is required. Absolutely, absolutely. 
So I, I, I remember I had attended the first ever, that is the opening day. So later I attended Somarpet, uh, Dungeon Camp, uh, then Bhatkal, then Kumta, okay. you know, so many. Yeah. So many, so many. I was part of all those. You know. And uh, your classmate, I Naik organized that, right? Uh, yes, yes. I did it, Naik. Deepak Naik, yes. Uh, so, uh, I mean, all these are fond memories. Uh, it's not only memories. You know, it's a sort of, sort of world-class achievement, I can say. And uh, so for this, you rightfully, you got B.C. Roy Award, the prestigious B.C. Roy Award. And you are honored with the award, you know, for the uh, social uh, social media uh, relief. Uh, am I right, sir? I mean, this was the uh, basic reason, apart from others, apart from other achievements. Uh, I have uh, developed a lot of satellite centers and uh, yes, 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 yes. Then the treatment camps. You know, we used to have a weekend the treatment camps. Treatment then, camps, yes. Treatment camps, and it was yes. a simple method of uh, making a dental chairs with a board on the back. You know? Yes, yes. That was a very successful program of ours, treatment. A absolutely, absolutely. I've been part of those also, many of those uh, treatment camps. So whether you participated in our street plays. You know, yes, yes, yes. We made uh, for our people to educate about public health as well as dental health. I, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, we That's made, true. I, program, uh, made a program of visiting the houses also. Yes, yes. I have participated in one. Uh, and also I have gone to Old Age Home. Old Age Home. Uh, uh, Old age home also, I, uh, I had taken a uh, few interns with me yes. and uh, some treatments were done there uh, when I was uh, working under you. So there are many pr programs we introduced for the benefit of our students, though yes. it benefited a lot of rural population. Uh, absolutely. So, um, uh, so actually, because of this, uh, um, so see, treatment actually, uh, uh, I mean, most of the people say, you, know, you can send a bus, an empty bus and get the students uh, to the college and uh, do the treatment there in a better setup and all that. But you said this way, you know, you, we, were, we reached the uh, rural uh, people and, uh, and there is door, doorsteps rather and uh, you know, we do the treatment. There. It has got a different kind of an impact. It spreads the awareness. Uh, it's, uh, it, it shows them what is available right now. And... Uh, uh, about the importance of dental hygiene and uh, what treatment can be done. So uh, now previously, most of the places where we visited and you know, the, the rural places mainly, and you know, people did not know anything about industry. They knew about only maybe uh, extraction. Uh, that's all they knew and not much actually. If it, so uh, this particular awareness was spread in the rural uh, side. And that was great. And uh, these kind of uh, treatment camps, they were not only held in Bangalore or around, they were held in other states as well. A college from Manglo uh, conducting camps in such far off place, carrying carrying everything. It's not that the facilities are available there. So facilities are carried in the bus. He carried everything. The space for us to work. Absolutely, yes, space for the work. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Nothing, uh, no other. Uh, uh, is is just service, 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 and service, and uh, you know, uh, spreading of the awareness and uh, dental education for the rural population. Uh, it's something uh, which uh, nobody should forget and it should be etched in the history, in the dental history forever. Well, it made as a regulation in our uh, councils or in the government, for a, even for a medical college, it is should be. Yes. The medical yes, college yes. is not necessary to be in a one campus. True, true, true. When they are learning in a different units, students yes. are and uh, learning in the different units of the subject. Why yes. Not? Some units to the different areas, like a satellite centers. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> that, that, that is correct. It will be in the same way, way of creating an awareness, making accessibility for them, making availability of the treatment. And yes, yes. Affordability, of course, my philosophy should be free. Yes, yes, yes. Free, affordable. Because we can't afford, even at our, our level, as a middle class yes. family, yes. we cannot afford many of the medical treatments. Uh, Absolutely. That, that is what I was also thinking, actually. I mean, uh, that kind of enormous... Uh, yes. We have to give a good health for people or the problems. Uh, yes, yes. We are, uh, unless we provide them a free treatment and unless we make them available of, of a tertiary care, even a quaternary care, it's not possible to reach the health status of the society. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely.
that that's that is the right thought and uh, that is the uh, the proper and noble thought you know that what what i would call as apart from in academics and you know, how you increased uh, even uh, here in Mang- mangalore you know in the, when we were part of uh, abc uh, so even the cultural activities uh, because, uh, because uh, we are as for the regulations we cannot have a different camps but we had everything in our camp but we utilize our manpower as an extra work to go around true the- true yes but that should yes, be yes, yes. The, the, the council or from the government that it should be distributed instead of having one single camp yes and have a multi roof multi campus medical colleges and dental colleges I, 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 absolutely 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 no they can even in a, uh, in, in a nursing colleges also like this because uh, they they yes. are in those hospitals where they are studying yes another uh, like physiotherapy all those uh, department can be made into a same multi center places instead of one single unit uh, absolutely yes when we are studying you know your 100 students studying in a one college uh, there yes. are 500 students and uh, 150 post graduate students in our college i don't know how many students know everybody yes 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 so not yes. like that, what we were in the government dental college where we had 30 admissions and we need yes. 140 students <laughs> you are here right about it yes kamala kant uh, yes a great experience with you for so many years as a student as a colleague and yes, as a close associate of me in all yes, my almost i think from 1973 to uh, i think you left our abcp in uh, 19 Uh, 90 yeah no sorry uh, 93 uh, 93 93 93 yes yes so we had a good uh, yes even after that we had a good association with you you were a professor and head at uh, uh, sulia dental college and later on he came to unipoy dental college and yes 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 you've been a, a great uh, association associate of mine yes sir not only in first as a teacher in the dental college and a yes. professor in the dental colleges thank you sir it is all because of your guidance and uh, you uh, as a more than a student as a good friend of uh, me absolutely absolutely so even in bangalore days you know so even uh, uh, when we were in uh, undergraduate days you were more like a friend to us and uh, and a guide uh, so why during the teaching hours you used to be really firm and uh, very serious about teaching but uh, other other times you were just like our friend actually even uh, Uh, the, uh, you are playing with the student. You ask me how how you are. I'm saying that I'm living a dull dull life now because I am not in the midst of students and faculty. <laughs> so uh, I th- I think it's the same thing with me also. I'm doing a part time practice. I know. Uh, but uh, but uh, academics is over. Uh, so in the not like in the olden days, we can't be part of uh, we can't continue to be in the uh, I mean part of academics because but, uh, I think for, yeah. One thing about uh, I'm not talking about me alone. All those yes, who are uh, having, they should be taken as a honorary teachers in you know, any of the universities. And you know, it's yes. for money. It is for to keep them mentally fresh. Yes, yes, yes. They are yes, yes. and this one to this one. It is not for salary or anything. They should yes. be honorary teachers in all institutions. Wherever. Yes, true. And uh, it can be a guidance. It is not that yes, yes. as a teacher you commanded. Uh, on the students or other faculty as a head of the department or a principal as because of yes. the position it is because of your personality because of yes your, yes because of your Truck. yes yes uh, such of those teachers who wants to be in uh, the in any of the colleges i think there should be a provision for them to be part of this institution is Ab- absolutely absolutely talking about to participate at least yes. uh, it will give a mental mental health to the this old teachers true absolutely and uh, one thing i forgot to mention about uh, important thing that in 2010 uh, uh, so when uh, uh, our college in mangalore is celebrated 25 years i had uh, edited a book recollecting so many memories and uh, your journey from your bangalore days to mangalore days appreciated by one and all uh, who are in our circle i had covered a few things in that you know i mean not everything everything uh, cannot be covered in one book i w- i was happy that i could cover your struggles your hard work and uh, and uh, everything you know how it contributed 
to dentistry and uh, the field of prosthodontics. And also it contained a lot of messages from my past students uh, and uh, others. Uh, yeah. So most of the, yes. So I was very happy uh, to be an editor of that book. Not that I had written that completely, a few pages I had written and the rest were messages. Uh, it was uh, a nice experience. Thank you, sir, uh, for being my teacher. So thank you very much for giving me this opportunity, sir, and, and the Global TV.